Ignition. We have liftoff. Datavault AI stock is on fire the past six months, up 317%. Oh, but I can't invest in this company. Not yet. Why? They were under a dollar a share for quite some time. They were going to get delisted from the NASDAQ. What did they have to do? Reverse stock split. They've done several reverse stock splits in their history. And that scares me. Now it's pumping higher now. Why? Well, there's a lot of news coming out. And I don't know if it's a coincidence, but there's news out there. And I'm going to report on the news. Maybe you're in this stock. Maybe you know more about it than I do. I'm just learning about it. But I can't invest in this company until they prove it. And so for me, that's probably the end of 2026. I need to wait one year. I need to see what they can do financially. Can they commit to their promises? Can they deliver on the revenue? My first rule, don't lose money. So I have to wait. Now, I may miss out on huge gains. But for me, I need to be comfortable with stocks that I own. And I wouldn't be comfortable with this stock at this time. But let me show you what I've found so far. And what the CEO of BlackRock said got me researching companies that tokenize assets. And that's how I found this one. What do you mean by digital? Uh, you know, I do believe we're just at the beginning of the tokenization of all assets from real estate uh, to equities, to bonds across the board. Data Vault AI, tools for data revolution. What, do, what does this company do? Take control of artificial intelligence and focus it on the most valuable asset, your data, to unlock its full potential. When data is captured, processed, and monetized, it becomes a powerful engine for generating new revenue and creating lasting value for companies of all sizes. Now, when researching the company, the first news that I saw was that Datafault AI brings Swiss precision to digital value creation. So it launched a Swiss digital asset exchange with Max International AG, targeting tokenization of gold and other real-world assets in Switzerland's regulated environment. This venture will leverage Switzerland's regulated financial framework for the institutional tokenization of real-world assets. Max International's AG's role is to provide Swiss regulatory oversight and fiduciary expertise. Their immediate milestone is to complete the first fully compliant trade on regulated, stable-value digital platform, a move that could redefine how institutions interact with real-world assets. And then Data Vault announced a platinum partnership with IBM receiving 5 million in IBM services and 20,000 hours of technical support to scale its AI-driven platform. These funding and tech endorsements have been cited as key catalysts for DataVault's recent surge in price. This is on IBM's website, where they do a nice write-up of uh, DataVault and all of its services. Web 3.0, it's coming. Tokenization, it's coming. Cybersecurity, it's coming. And then we had more news. DataVault secured a $150 million strategic investment through Silex Holdings to build up high-performance computing and launch new data exchanges. The news just kept coming. And then there was news that Datafault announced a strategic one-year pilot program to implement its patented audio and audible tones and Datafault data monetization services at 99.7 FM in Nevada and Northern California. The pilot aims to convert one-way radio into interactive Web 3.0-enabled broadcast to expand ad inventory increase sponsorship sales, and deliver audio-triggered mobile content without network or power requirements. The company said the effort targets the U.S. radio advertising market valued at about $28 billion in 2025. So yes, the audio and audible tone technology went live on Vibe 99.7, embedding digital signals inside music to turn any broadcast into an interactive experience. A radio ad can now trigger a mobile offer without a single click. You know, that's not just marketing, that's sensory engineering. Now their Wiza Connect technology is the next evolution of Data Vault's wireless audio ecosystem. Alongside a new transmitter module and certification suite, it all falls back into the same thesis. Every sound, every signal, and every data point has latent value if you can verify it. Data Vault stack turns that latent value into currency. The company's fusion of sound signal and proof bridges the gap between entertainment and enterprise. And the news just kept coming out. In October, it signed a letter of intent to acquire NYIAX Inc., NASDAQ's blockchain-based advertising exchange, adding valuable patent and marketplace assets to its portfolio. Data Vault is not just collecting data, it's building the infrastructure to trade it, score it, and collateralize it. And the news continues. The partnerships continue. 
licensing deals continue. GFT Rewards is using Data Vault's audio technology to drive mobile reward engagement systems. That agreement is already projected to generate measurable revenue in quarter three of 2025. We're talking about Web3 mobile rewards across major distribution channels from airports, retail chains, the movies, college campuses, ride-hailing networks, and another licensing deal with Korea Aerospace University fusing digital credentialing with aviation. You know, so think IDs, simulation records, maintenance logs, all verified in real time, tamper-proof. Aviation has always been about safety. Now it's about proof. Collectively, the company is fusing technology and deal-making. Data Vault aims for about 40 to 50 million in 2026 revenue, boosted by these alliances, the acquisition, the licensing deals. And logistics health stock surge 88% on Data Vault AI blockchain partnership. Data Vault teamed up with them to create a pharmacy chain, a blockchain powered supply chain for US prescription drugs. So this is gonna be tapping a 634 billion US drug market aiming to digitize tracking of prescription drugs to ensure the right drug sets to the right patients at the right time. The company has been in the dumps, reported EPS. Look at this, in the dumps. Actual revenue on this side. What a pop in the last quarter. And the company came out with new revised guidance for the second half of 2025. It's going to be 10 to 12 million, somewhere in there. Another big jump. And next year, they're saying it's going to be 40 to 50 million. So that's why the stock is popping off. They're expecting huge revenue increases. So analysts have taken notice of Datafault's flurry of news and Wall Street consensus is now mostly bullish. There's several analysts covering it, and it looks like the 12-month price target is anywhere from $3 to $11. It looks like the average is about 7 so it's a moderate buy. Uh, now, I'm not going to put too much stock into that information uh, because I'm still worried about the, the previous history of the reverse stock split. So for me, I'm, I'm going to stay on the sidelines for now. But go ahead and take a look at this company. Do more research. Let me know if I missed anything. If you're in the stock, if something you should, we should be aware of, you know, let us know in the comments. Let me leave you here with the CEO of Data Vault. I'm Jane King at the New York Stock Exchange. With me is Nate Bradley, the founder and CEO of Data Vault AI. So welcome, great to have you. So uh, Data Vault is now um, part of the IBM Partner Plus program. Explain what that means exactly. Yeah, so uh, we were real fortunate uh, to have an opportunity to work with Watson X uh, in the perfection of two agents uh, that we've endeavored to build. Uh, one uh, is called Data Value. Um, it brings a, a, a cash value to your data assets. Think of what Zillow did to real estate. Uh, we were able to do that to data assets. You walk by a server, it, you may not be aware of how much data is on it. You might not be aware of how much data you carry on your person unbeknownst to you that has a lot of value to your organization or has a lot of security uh, prevalence. And so we built a system that helps you see that value. And then secondly, built a second agent uh, called uh, the data score. And the data scoring agent um, uses the governance model of X, uh, Watson X, which is an IBM uh, output uh, that allows us to score data based on how well you've stored it. What kind of steward are you of your data? Okay. Do you do you have a proper backup? I mean, like, is it good quality data? Yes. Yeah. The, okay. The quality and the completeness of data, oh. how much it is responsive to a query effectively because of that completeness and quality. What we see now with the Genius Act and some of the things happening with our federal government and the acceptance of tokenomics is that we can generate exchanges where individuals can monetize their data and companies can monetize their data on an exchange, understanding its value, but also get bid-ass traffic of what the market will bear against that value. And remember, it's not like a stock or a bond. I don't vend it to you. I give you a copy and I retain all of my actionable intelligence. I have all of my data, but I might be selling an enclave of that data to generate real cash. And we developed an exchange we call it the Information Data Exchange. It uses the two agents, the value and the score, and it's an exchange that takes bid-ass traffic on the, on the NASDAQ infrastructure. So we have a special partnership with the NASDAQ. When we took our invention, we said, look, we want to move it on a trusted exchange. Rather than developing our own or trying to start from scratch to build that trust, we, we built it upon the ramps and rails of the NASDAQ. We, we, we allow traders to trade our coin technology on their infrastructure. It's called the NASDAQ Financial Framework. It is foundational to the exchange function of our technology. Oh, wow, that's amazing.